everyone or welcome back in this video we'll be talking about container registry so let's go ahead and start so in this video we have created a separate resource group to create a resource group you can just click create and uh, add the relevant name here and your resource group will be created uh, in that particular region that you have selected so in this case i have created a uh, container rg so click that so i already created the registry let me show you how this is done so you can just click create uh, under the resource group that you have created and search for container registry so azure container registry is a cloud based service provided by microsoft azure that allows users to store manage and distribute container images for their applications so it serves as a centralized repository for containers images that can be accessed and used by various tools and services such as kubernetes docker azure services making it easier to developers and deploy the managed uh, containers applications so that is the definition according to the docs so let's go ahead and create one so make sure you select the appropriate subscription and the relevant resource group that we have created so that it will be easier for us to delete these uh, resources when the lab is completed so in this case uh, let's add uh, our uh, container registry The name is done coming to the location let's select east us since we are dealing with uh, east us and coming to sk uh, skus uh, it's standard so basically there are three different plans so in this case if you select uh, you can see uh, coming to the available zones we cannot enable it so based on uh, the plan uh, let's say if you select premium so we'll be getting some advanced uh, features so we can uh, select the availability zones and uh, if you go to the networking you can also select these options as well uh, the connectivity configurations where you can uh, access it publicly or privately so coming to the encryption type you have customer managed key so basically the customer managed key in azure container registry is a feature that uh, allows users to encrypt their uh, container images using their own encryption keys uh, which are managed and stored in azure key vault so basically this is done uh, for an extra security layer so if i click enable you can see we have got uh, different options so you can add your managed identity and uh, select uh, select from the key vault and so on you can uh, select it from the key vault and so on but in this case we just uh, disable it since it's an example so you can finally just review and create it so this is how you can create the container registry once your container registry is completed uh, you can uh, deploy the images into that so let me uh, show you that so first let's uh, try to log into that registry so before pushing and pulling the images you must log in to the registry instance so for that uh, basically this is our uh, registry that uh, we have created and let's go to our uh, cloud shell and uh, let's wait for that so i'll be using the commands from the microsoft docs let me add that so initially we have to connect uh, to this registry for that uh, i'll be adding this command which i had copied from uh, so here we have you have to add that registry name in this case it's mrt container so let's add it so you can see the login has succeeded so basically uh, there are other few commands through which you can push the image and uh, before that uh, let me show you the access keys as well so here uh, you can also use uh, admin user you can enable it and you can use the username and password to authenticate it but in this case i'm just not selecting it and let me show you the commands here So these are the commands that uh, we have just used. So this is the first command that is used to connect uh, to this registry and second one is push the image. So to push an image in Azure registry, you must have an image. So which we are pulling from this particular uh, uh, file and then we'll be using these commands. And once we use these commands, you will be able to see this uh, re under the repository. You can see this hello world name. So I'll be keeping this in the description for you to watch. And once everything is done, make sure that you delete these resources. Coming to this video, I hope you guys have uh, understood the concept of uh, creating the containers. So yeah, if you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.